Let's apply the candidate elimination algorithm on our wine competition problem. So at first we have to initialize our HG and HS sets and for that we um, simply use the maximally um, specific hypothesis and over here the maximally generic one. The first step um, for our first example is to check whether it's positive or negative. So the first example we want to consider here, Barbera, bottle aged, acidity mild, color intensity high, award winning yes, yields a positive example because it's award winning. So at first we have to remove from HG any hypothesis that is not consistent with X. So if you look at this, we see that as it's all white cards, um, it gets admitted, uh, our example, and as it's also award winning, this is permissible, and um, we can say that this hypothesis is consistent with our example, so we leave it be. Then we need to consider each hypothesis in HS that is not consistent with X, and we already saw that this um, maximally a uh, specific hypothesis is never consistent with any positive example. So we need to erase it and we need to add um, yeah, consistent examples. And again we do the trick of simply taking the full example, adding it here. So um, let's look at the second condition over here. Some member of HD is more general than this hypothesis over here. And yes, this one is clearly more general with all the white card wild cards in it. Next step, we move from HS, any hypothesis that is less specific than any other hypothesis. Yeah, we only have one, so that's fine. Example two, we now have a non award-winning example, which means that we have to consider this case over here. The first thing is we move from HS any hypothesis that is not consistent with X. And uh, the example that we have here has a difference in this location. Uh, it is of strong acidity. So, um, well, it doesn't really match up, but as we have a non-award-winning example now, this is actually what consistency requires. So because it doesn't match up, this time we have um, consistency. So we cannot remove anything from HS in this very first step. So next step, for each hypothesis in HG that is not consistent with X, um, well, this one is actually not consistent with X because it matches or it's, it admits our current example because of all the wild cards, but we don't want it to admit because we have a non-award winning wine here. So we have non-consistency and this means we move this one and we add all minimal speci specializations where we have consistency and some member over here is more specific than the one that we add over here now. So let me do that quickly. The ones that we get here is Riesling and Wildcard. No with Wildcards. Mild with wild cards. And medium with wild cards.
these would all um, contradict the example that we have now and um, yeah thus they belong into this HG set but now um, we have to check whether these hypotheses actually have a more specific counterpart in HS over here and we see that the only thing that remains is this mild thing over here because we have mild over there so everything else gets erased again. Okay, the next step is to check uh, or to remove from HG any hypothesis that is less general than any other hypothesis in HG but we only have this one remaining so we're fine for now. For the third example um, we have a negative example again. It's uh, not award winning which means that we're going to again first consider HS. Remove any hypothesis that is not consistent with X. But this time we have something with a Riesling so we already know that this one doesn't match up and uh, as we have a negative example this is what consistency requires. So this is fine. For each hypothesis over here, so for this one, we first check for consistency. Well, um, this one is again not consistent because, I mean, the wild cards, we don't care about them now, but we have mildness or mild acidity in our example again, but it's a negative example. So it's not consistent. So again, erase this one. And now we add to HG all minimal specific uh, specializations with consistency and then in the second step let's check whether actually some member of HS is more specific. So um, yeah, let's, let's add that. So what you can see here is that we keep this mild from over here and retain it and then again we try to contradict our um, negative example that we are given. And what we have to check now is again whether all those have a specific counterpart in HS and we can see that this is the case for the first one over here and we can see that this is the case for this one over here yes and mild match up for this one mild and high match up but not for this one because this low contradicts this high over here so we erase that one again. Now we have to check whether any hypothesis is less general than another one and we can see well they contradict uh, no, no sorry they don't contradict but uh, whether they don't um, match up in a way that we have a more general or less general hypothesis um, because yeah, the difference lies in different dimensions so we're fine with that now. So this is when we arrive with example 4. It's a positive example again because it's award winning. So let's check here again. We move from HD any hypothesis that is not consistent with X. Consistence in this case because it's award winning means that it has to uh, admit the example to be kept. This one is okay. Let's check for this one. This one is also okay. This one is not okay because it has high here instead of low. So let's erase this one. So the next step over here 
for each hypothesis that is not consistent with x. Okay, let's um, let's see whether this applies. Actually, is this one not consistent with x? Well, it's certainly not because um, again we have a contradiction in this case. So erase that one and now at all minimal generalizations where we have consistency and then in the second step let's remove some members of HD uh, or let's remove the ones that have some members of HD that's more general. So let's add this one So we have to add a wildcard in this position over here because uh, we had the contradiction there. And now let's check whether we actually have um, yeah, more general counterpart in HG. Let's see. And it seems like we actually have it in this case and also in this case. So uh, we are fine. So let's keep this one. And now we have to apply the last step. We move from HS any hypothesis that is less specific than another hypothesis in HS, but we only have a single one, so we're fine to keep this. And these two sets are our final results.